We the brown boys. The brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. Black men, y'all, we under the attack, boy. Yeah. Yeah, black men, we in trouble, black old man. We under attack. What it seems like. We got Chris Brown. We got Chris Brown. We got Kanye West. We got R. Kelly. And they got allegations out about Jay-Z. They're unfounded, though. All these allegations about these other dudes. Chris Brown's stuff is kind of in the media. Uh where they allege he's had several allegations hurled his way. Uh, and he's had lawsuits that he's settled. Allegedly. Let me say alleged on any damn thing. But there's a new woman claiming that Kanye West violated her. So all you, I'm not saying these guys did anything, but all you cats that always tell my why you don't hang with these celebrities? Nigga, you devaluing yourselves. Why don't you hang with celebrity? Because I don't got a celebrity mania or a celebrity crush like you. Yeah, I don't got celebrity crushes or celebrity psychotic behavior like you do. I look at everybody just as a regular person. I've been around so many of these things called celebrity, and I don't see much difference in anybody else. So now I don't participate participate in the buffoonery that you participate in. Yeah, I don't participate in that. Everybody got accusations? Yeah, they sure do. Some of them are warranted. Some of them are just money grab. But some of those accusations are warranted. You know, hanging around a bunch of dudes is rep a recipe for disaster anyway. You can't control what everyone else do and the sad reality of it is uh white folks know that the police know that but when a bunch of white uh, boys hung together they called them entourage when a bunch of black folks hang together they call them a gang and they'll call you the leader of a gang one guy hit a person they've done it for the guy with money because it's all a money grab so i tell anybody with me you better not hit a mother until you see me here. <laughs> if it's going to be on me anyway, don't touch nobody on my behalf. I got this. If I'm going to have to pay anyway, I'm going to need you to refrain from putting your hands on anybody around me, near me, for me. If I got to put my hands on somebody, I'll put my hands on their ass my damn self. It's going to cost the same anything. We've been under attack. Um, that's why the elders always tell us to be smarter, outwork everyone, and do our best to keep clean, uh, keep a clean nose because the folks are always against us, and now we see a real-time people that look like us been the enemy. Yeah. I, I've been telling you, we haven't had our own thoughts in years. Now they bring Obama out. Obama, well, maybe... You just have a problem with a woman leading. Nigga, how? Our mother's been leading us our whole life. That's all we had was our mothers. But at some point, we grow the fuck up, Obama. At some point, we become men and we leaders like we're made to be. Every black man is not going to let a woman lead them like all of you guys want. It's okay for black women to be advanced. We want them to be advanced. But, you know, the black woman that I'm with, she didn't, she's not looking to lead me. Nor will I allow that. I'm not looking to lead her in everything. I'm looking to be the head of my wife. But I'm not looking to lead her every decision. All this leading and all this shit, I got my own brain. So as a black dude, I want to be cancel proof. So I try to show these guys different ways to be cancel proof by always working. Go get a job. Get a real job. Get Be in something that nobody can't take away from you. I might not, can't get on TV, but you can't stop me from getting in a truck that I already own. But I think a lot of this stuff is a distraction. Because in the media all at one time, they're getting black women to really hate us now. 
because it's looking like black men are going against a black woman in the election when this woman ain't black. We know that shit. And it's a sad thing that people are saying this. Oh, oh, you know, I want my black daughter to think she can be the president. Well, she can't. Because if that was the case, they would have went and got Obama, Michelle Obama. Why they ain't get Michelle Obama? Why they got some Indian lady that's acting like she black? So no, nah, we're not falling for that. And no offense to the Indians, but all I'm saying is, uh, we don't want this woman to claim like she's black, because she's not.